But it's interesting because you're like, okay, obviously we've talked about this a lot. But mm -hmm. look over here. Look, look at the VAR, look at the, the, the bad decision as opposed to don't look over here where, again, my goalkeeper yeah. made the mistake, which in fact led to the, that problem. And my attacking third, again, was nowhere near as strong as it was last season. And we were outplayed by Newcastle. I think that's the crux of the matter, that they're not the only team that's been wronged. Uh, but we have a manager who is under pressure. What's wrong with him, Craig? What's Managers are always under pressure, but here we have a manager who I think is pigeonholing himself with his decisions and putting more pressure on himself. We look at two of his big signings and Arsenal's big signings. David Rea, not monetary, but it was a big call mm -hmm. to come in and then replace Ramsdale. And then we look at uh, Kai Havertz. Now, I... Uh, I am absolutely steadfast that these two players have made the squad better, right? David Raya, if Ramsdale had an injury, I'm fine with that. Kai Havertz covering the front three or coming on in the midfield for 20 minutes is, is helping Arsenal's squad. But it is my opinion that these two players have made the Arsenal starting 11 weaker. Now, Declan Rice has made it stronger, in my opinion. These two have weakened those two positions. One of them, 70 million. Mm -hmm. So he has pigeonholed himself into this position where he's already made a decision with Havertz, right? He played at the weekend because he didn't have too many other choices. But we know he's already been dropped. And now he's got a decision to make at some point with this goalkeeper. So I think, honestly, he has, we he has weakened the starting 11 by trying to overthink it. You know, by, oh, we're going to play out, we're going to be absolutely the best team playing from the back. This goalkeeper's great. He come, he's out of the ball at the feet and would do this and Havertz can play in the midfield. It wasn't that bad last year. It didn't need all this and now he needs some momentum and now he's got some problems and once again, we're talking about VAR, his keeper for the umpteenth game, as you said, was flapping mm -hmm. at crosses. Yeah.